Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the square that is used for the melange blanket crochet along with which I'm a guest designer. Now the square measures six inches by six inches and before we get started please remember to like and subscribe. Now the materials that we're going to need are a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and a size J crochet hook or six millimeters. Now this is my Furls Resin Streamline hook and I will have an affiliate link down below so that if you'd like to get one you can order from that link. Now the yarn that I used is supplied to me from King Cole and this is the Fashion Erin yarn which is 70% acrylic, 30% wool and each ball holds approximately 219 yards or 200 meters. Now this is in the shade Natural and this is my main color, so I used about 20 yards or 18 meters in this color. And the contrast color I used is this gorgeous tweed eucalyptus color. And for this one, I used 26 yards or approximately 24 meters. So let's go ahead and get started. For round one of the square, we're going to begin by using our main color, which in my case is the color natural. And we're going to start by making a magic ring, also known as the magic circle. And the way that we'll do that is you have your working or your yarn tail on the top of your hand, just like so. And we're going to wrap that yarn around these two fingers. And we're going to create an X with that yarn. And then secure that with your pinky. So you see that there's an X right here. Then at the top of the X, right up here, we're going to insert our hook and it's going to lay on top of that yarn because you're going to grab that yarn with your hook and give it a little twist. Then you're going to grab that working yarn and you're going to pull that through, just like so. And then I'm going to remove my fingers. This is what you have. I'm going to tighten that pretty tightly. And now we're ready to begin the round one stitches. So we're going to start by chaining four. So one, two, three, four. And that chain four is going to count as your first half double crochet and a chain two. And then we're going to begin a pattern repeat. So we're going to do in this magic ring. And when you're working the magic ring, I work over both loops or both um, both strands here. So we're going to work three half double crochets, chain two, three times. So three half double crochets. That's one, two, three, and chain two. Now we're going to do that two more times. So three half double crochets. One, two, three, and chain two. And then one more time, three half double crochets. It's one, two, three, chain two. And now we're going to end it by doing two more half double crochets and then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the second chain of that chain four. So before I do that, I'm going to tighten up my magic circle just a little bit. Not too much because I still want to have plenty of room to work. And let's do those two half double crochets. So that's one and two. And now remember, this chain four counted as your first half double crochet and your chain two. So now we're going to join with a slip stitch into the second chain of that chain four. So I'm going to insert my hook right here and join with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to tighten up this circle just a little bit more. And this is what you should have for your round one. For round two, we're going to be introducing our contrast color, which in my case is the color eucalyptus. But before we introduce that, an important thing to note is to not cut your yarn. Instead, you're gonna carry it up the back and that way you only end up with four tails to weave in at the end of the square. 
So we're going to begin by doing a slip stitch into this corner space, and that just brings our yarn over. Only I'm going to slip stitch using my contrast color. So slip stitch bringing that in, and then we're going to begin the round. So we're going to begin. We're going to begin by chaining one. And in this chain two space right here, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Then we're going to work the, or we're going to begin the pattern repeat. So we're going to do a back post half double crochet around each of the next three stitches. So back post, so that's where you yarn over, insert your hook from back to front around that next post, draw up a loop, and then yarn over and draw through all three. And you're going to do that around each of the next two stitches, so a total of three. And then when you get to this chain two space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So that's a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then we're going to do that repeat again. So back post half double crochet around each of the next three. That's one. two, and three. And then when you come to this chain two space, it's a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And you'll see that by doing that back post work, you end up with a nice little accent right here from your main color. So we're going to do that one more time. Back post half double crochet around each of the next three. one, two, and three, and then work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that chain two space. Now we're coming up to the end here, so what we're going to do is a back post half double crochet around each of the next three stitches and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet that we started with. Whoops. That's one. Two. Three. And then we'll join with a single or a, a slip stitch to the top of that first single, which is right here. And that's your round two. For round three, we're going to be switching back to our main color. And remember, you didn't cut this, so the way that I carry them up is I make sure that there's a slight twist so that it brings up the contrast color as I continue to work. Now to do the twist, I make sure that this contrast color is underneath it and I will take my ball of yarn just so I can avoid a spaghetti mess here and just move that to where it becomes where it becomes on top. So you end up with a twist just like so. And then we're going to begin round three by doing that slip stitch into the chain two space. Slip stitch into that chain two space with that main color. And now what we're going to do is in that chain two space, we're going to chain one and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. 
Then we're going to begin the pattern repeat where we're going to do a back post single crochet around each of the next five stitches. So a back post single is where you insert your hook from back to front around that post, draw up a loop, and then yarn over and draw through two. So you're going to do that around all five of those posts. That's two, three, four, and this last post. And then when you come up to this chain two space, we will work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Chain two, and single crochet. And that's what you'll continue doing around the square. So we'll do this one more time. Back post, single crochet around each of the next five stitches. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. And then at that chain two space, a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So we'll do that again here, and I'm going to go ahead and just speed this up where we do a sing back post single crochet across those five, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and I'll meet you when we get back to here. Okay, we're coming up to the last bit of the square, and what we're going to do is work a back post single crochet around each of these next five stitches, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet. So that is one, two, three, four, And the last one, five. And then a slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet. And that's your round three. For round four, we're going to be working with our contrast color and we're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space. Then we're going to chain four, which is going to count as your first double crochet in a chain two. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to work a double crochet in that chain two space. Now we're ready to begin our pattern repeat. And that's where we're going to work a double crochet and then a popcorn three times. So one double crochet in the next stitch, and then a popcorn in the next. And a popcorn is five double crochets, and then I'll show you how to close that up. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then after you do those five double crochets, you're going to extend that loop a little bit so you can remove your hook. And you're going to go back to that first double crochet of, those, of that series of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook in the top of that stitch and then grab that loop. Then close it up and do a chain one. And there's your popcorn. So you're going to do that three times. So you're going to do an, another double crochet, and then you'll do a popcorn. 
in the next stitch. So five double crochets that we will close up into a popcorn. One, two, three, four, five, extending that loop, one, two, three, four, five, insert that hook, grab that loop, close it up with chain one. And we'll do that one more time. So one double crochet, and then a popcorn in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Make that a little bit larger. One, two, three, four, five. Grab that loop, close it up. Then you're going to do one more double crochet in the next stitch. Then when you get to your chain two space, you'll work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And that's your pattern repeat for working around the square. So you're going to do a double crochet and then a popcorn, double crochet, popcorn, double crochet, popcorn, and then one double crochet. So you're framing those popcorns with a double crochet, just like we did here. And then when you get to the corner, do a one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And I will meet you when we come up towards the end of this square. I'm coming up to the end of my round four and on that last stretch I just did the uh, the double crochet and then the popcorn double crochet popcorn double crochet popcorn and I'm going to do my last double crochet and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the second chain of that chain four so there's that last double crochet and then one two that's where we're going to join with our slip stitch. And this is what your square should look like. Now we're going to begin round five by changing back to our main color. So you're going to do that slip stitch into that chain two space. You're going to pick up that main color. I'm just going to tidy up my yarn a little bit so that I can do that twist. All right, so we're going to do that slip stitch into that chain two space. And now we're going to chain one and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So chain one single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now this is going to be pretty easy for you because all we're going to do is just single crochet across. So there's a total of nine stitches here so you'll have nine single crochets and then in the corner you'll do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So I'll get this first part for you. So we have one, two, and when you come to the popcorn, because you did that chain one, it might look as if there's two stitches. That chain one did not count as a stitch, so you can decide if you want to insert your hook in this stitch or in this one. Now I'm going to go into the top of the popcorn to do my single crochet. But remember, just one of those because you want to work a total of nine single crochets across that panel. So we're at three, four, five, 
six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Then when you get to this corner space, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And that's all this round is. So when you work your way around and you come up to this very end, do a slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet. And then I'll meet you for round six. For round six, we're going to be switching to our contrast color. And this is a fun row. It's going to add a little bit more um, texture and interest, and it'll make your popcorns pop out just a little bit more. So we're going to begin by doing a slip stitch into that chain two space with our contrast color, and then we're going to chain one. And we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Then we're going to work three single crochets. Then let's see, let's get those single crochets made. So one, two, and three. Then you'll come across this stitch here where you're going to work a front post double crochet. And when you work that, you're not going to work the stitch behind it. So you'll yarn over, work a front post double crochet around the popcorn stitch, working front to back around that entire stitch. Drop a loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, and then you'll do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to do that again. So you'll yarn over, do that front post double crochet around that popcorn. Drop that loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, and then you'll do a single crochet in the next stitch. Then we'll do that one more time. So front post double crochet around that popcorn, and then a single crochet in the next stitch. And after you do that, you'll do two more single crochets. Whoops. So one and two. Then when you get to the corner, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And that's your pattern repeat all the way around. So you'll do three single crochets, front post double crochet around that popcorn stitch, not working that stitch behind it. Then you'll do a single crochet. Then front post double crochet, single crochet. And then when you get to the corners, it's a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And when you get to the very end, just join with a slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet, and I'll meet you for round seven. For round seven, we're switching back to our main color, and we're going to begin by doing a slip stitch in that chain two space. Then we're going to chain one, and in that chain two space, we'll work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And now this next round is pretty easy because all you're going to do is a back post half double crochet around each of the next 13 stitches. And that will take you up to the chain two space. So you'll do a back post half double crochet, just like so, around each of the next 13 stitches. And then when you get into that chain two space, you'll work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And you'll just continue that all the way around. And then when you get to the very end, after you do that back post half double crochet on this post, you will just join with a slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet. And then I'll meet you for round eight. For round eight, we're gonna do things just a little bit differently. We're going to be staying with our main color for this round. 
And just be sure that when you do, you carry up that contrast color on top of that main color, just so that you don't have a big loose strand as you go to work that final round. So for this one, what we're going to do is a lot of slip stitches. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain two space. And then we're going to chain two and then work another slip stitch. And then our pattern repeat is going to be to slip stitch in each of the next 15 stitches. And when you get to the chain two space that's in the corner, you'll simply work a slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch. And you'll just continue doing that all the way around. So just slip stitch over the next 15, do a slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch. And then when you get to the very end of this round, you will do a slip stitch into that first slip stitch. And then you can cut your main color because we'll be switching to the contrast color for that final round. So I will see you for round nine. For round nine, and this is our final round, we're using our contrast color. And what we're going to do is slip stitch to that corner space. And then we are going to chain one. And in that corner space, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Then what we're going to do is do a single crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. And then in the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then that's it for your block. So I'm going to go ahead and do this all around and I'll meet you at the very end. So I finished the last round, gave it a little bit of a block to a six by six, and it just really opened up. And that's it for your square. I do hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you later with more patterns and tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.